I own 14 helmets. In the comment section below, I want you to take a guess at how many you think I've actually paid for with my own money. Same with the gloves, 18 pairs of gloves and 15 jackets. Because in this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can score free motorcycle gear. And I will share the answers with you at the end of the video. If you guys follow my Instagram page, you will see that I have plenty of photos of myself with my motorcycle. And it is from Instagram that I started to receive a whole bunch of free gear from amazing motorcycle brands from all around the world. Taking photos of your bike at sick locations is awesome. And yeah, you might get a whole bunch of likes on Instagram. Happy days, that's sick. But if you wanna get free gear, helmet, gloves, pants, jackets, whatever, we need to do it ourselves, which is what I do. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. What you'll need is a camera. Now the rule of thumb is to use your best camera. As they say, best camera is the one that you have with you. My best camera is a 5D Mark IV and the lens that I'm absolutely frothing on at the moment is the Sigma 85mm 1.4. Oh baby, now this thing is big and heavy and it's very, very big and heavy. But I love the way the photos turn out. So it's worth it for me. Now you don't need expensive gear to be able to take awesome photos. All the gear, no idea, as some people say. You could go and buy this stuff and still take very, very, very garbage photos. <laughs> It's not the camera that makes your photos look good. It's your eye and your creativity that helps this process. Now, of course, having expensive glass or expensive camera bodies helps with image quality. There's no doubt about it. But what I'm trying to say is don't let that hold you back. The best camera that you have is the one you have on you. iPhones and Androids today are more than enough to get the job done, especially when just posting to Instagram. Plus, iPhones and Androids now shoot in RAW, which is insane considering that's what my $4,500 5D Mark IV shoots in. RAW meaning that each photo that you take has so much information in the file that you can go in later in post and you can go crazy with the edit. It's actually pretty scary and it's probably gonna put us photographers out of business very soon. Camera phones are ridiculous, they're insane. So use this if you don't have one of those. You'll need a tripod or a gorilla pod to mount your camera or phone onto and you'll also need a bag to pack it all in. The bag I've been running around with recently is this sick, super lightweight camera bag by Brevity, who are the sponsors of this week's video. If you don't wanna spend hundreds of dollars on a camera backpack and just need something that's light, easy to use, that's functional and keeps your camera gear protected while on the road, then Brevity backpacks are worth checking out. Brevity have a few different styles of packs listed on their site. This one's called The Runner. Let's take a closer look at it. At first glance, this bag doesn't even look like a camera backpack, which I don't know about you guys. I enjoy people not knowing what I'm carrying in my bag, especially if it's expensive camera gear. The water resistant machine washable bag can be used as an everyday backpack, or it can be converted to hold your camera with multiple lenses. Now, honestly, when I first saw this backpack, I thought surely it's not gonna hold something like this along with something like this. Not only can it hold my precious lenses safely, but it can also store a 16 inch laptop in the back section, as well as any extra items like a rain jacket and pants or gloves in the top section. It has a quick access side panel so that you can remove your camera in a snap. It has a secret passport pocket on the back, an extra pocket in the front to store batteries, SD cards, gloves, whatever you need. And it has a side pocket and strap for a drink bottle or to securely hold your tripod. This bag is seriously all you need to do a shoot like we are about to do today. And if you'd like 10% off, make sure you hit the link in the description below or use code MOTOFIELDS10 at checkout. Location, location, location. Man, this road is munted. And I'm losing light as well. This is the worst. I hate it when it's like this. I'm like, yeah, yeah, enough time, enough time. And by the time you actually leave, there's no time. Let's give this a crack. This should be cool. We got some nice leading lines there with the power lines and everything. Dirt road's always pretty hip. Okay. First thing is first, get my tripod prepped. What I first like to do is to compose my shot. So without the tripod, without me even in it, I like to just see how the shot's gonna look. And this determines where I will be placing the tripod. How are we looking here? <laughs> the old lens cap, eh? I see, yeah, that looks pretty epic already. I'm pretty happy with that. So now, I know that's where I want the camera to be, so tripod time. There are a few ways you can photograph yourself. One is to use the camera's app. Canon has an app called Canon Connect, which barely ever works, like right now. And now this should just work. It should be able to just go remote live view, and you can literally take photos from your phone. When it works, you can choose autofocus points. I usually sit this in my quad lock, like this, donk, in my quad lock. I'll set it to like a two second delay, hit it, beep, 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 pose, and then it takes the photo. I can see what it looks like, change what I need to change, away we go. Another way is to bring in a tape measure and measure the distance from the camera to where you want in focus. And then manually adjust how far you wanna go. That's a little bit over four meters away. 
set a timer or use a wireless remote control and take the photo. But I find that this way takes far too long to get one snap. The way I like to do it is going into interval timer. If your camera enables it, use it. This enables you to take as many shots as you want over a certain amount of time or an unlimited amount of time. So for us, we are going for unlimited shooting one photo a second. Literally going to be going every second. It's a lot of photos, I know. Right now, I'm looking through the viewfinder. So I want to lock focus on the bag. Boom. Snap that button. Boom. And now it's taking a photo every damn second. I can just walk up here looking all cool. Hey man, what's going on? You know, just check out my bike. And for this, I feel like it's actually a pretty good way because you get a lot of images and there might be a stance that you do that's really cool, but it's very natural as well. So you can walk up to your bike, you can kick a leg over, you're capturing everything. It's capturing, capturing, look down, look up, look to the left, look a little bit behind you, play with your gloves a little bit, boom, boom, boom. We're looking fantastic. Oh, how's the bike looking there? She's gonna roll back a little bit. But see, that's cool, it's still taking photos. And so this is all natural. This is me just going, oh crap. The bike's almost falling off the little, little riser there. And to turn that off, to stop that, you just literally gotta turn it off. And that's what Canon says to do. You go back through, have a look at your photos. Cool, cool, cool. Looks all awesome. Mad, mad, mad. And you basically just do that over and over and over again. Then once you're all done, import your photos into your photo editing software. In this video, I'll be using Lightroom Classic. Now, if you don't have or want to pay for the desktop version of Lightroom, there is an app that you can download for your phone that's completely free. And it works very, very well. I actually uses quite a bit when I'm on the go. Once all the images are imported, I then make my selects by pressing P to pick and X to reject. Now we're left with all the bangers that were in focus and the poses that we were happy with. Now next is to begin editing. Now I always use presets when editing my photos and 99% of the time I use my presets 100% of the time. <laughs> nice one Anchor Man. I've specifically curated these presets to suit a wide variety of settings, locations and bike styles so that you can create something epic with just a click of a button. I also have a free preset for you on the store so you can go and test it out and see if it works. I've got videos that explains everything, how to bring it all in and import it and they all work on the free version of Lightroom. Free Lightroom app, free preset to go with it. Boom, get started guys. What the hell, come on. I'm trying to help you out here. <laughs> now, once you're done editing, you want to crop the photo to five by four. This takes up the most screen space on Instagram, which gains your audience's attention, which results in more double taps on that bad boy. It's sort of like a poo, there it is. Hello, if you do like a massive 16 by nine, which is awesome for desktop or YouTube or whatever, it turns out very, very thin on your screen and you sort of just bypass it because it's, really, it's not really in your face. You want it to be in your face. It's in your face photo. Five by four. And then we begin the uploading procedure to Instagram. Now while writing out your caption, remember to include the brand handle and hashtag of the gear you're wearing in that shot and tag them in the image as well so that your photo lands on their account under the tagged photo section. The point of all this tagging is to grab your brand's attention and to showcase your dope shots that you just took of their gear. For this example, I'm wearing my Premier helmet, Andromeda jacket, MCM pants and Falco boots. Now, if you want to take it a step further and to really grab your brand's attention, reshare your post as a story and retag all the brands in there again. There might even be a chance to spark up a conversation with the brand that you're tagging. Who knows? It's Instagram. That's the beauty of it is that you can literally reach out to anybody, any brand, have a chat, have a yarn. That's what it's all about. Social media is to be social. Now, getting free motorcycle gear isn't something that's going to happen overnight. It takes consistency and patience. Find out through your analytics when your audience is most active and post an hour before that. So by the time that it's most active, your photo is already out there getting munched up by all them eyeballs. Just keep it consistent so that people know that this is when you're going to be posting. Now, if this all seems a bit too hard for you, it's too much work, then hey, opt out. That's fine. You need to enjoy this process. Otherwise, you will be disinterested maybe in four months, five months, a year time down the track. You're like, stuff this. This sucks. It's way too much work. I'd rather spend 200 bucks on a helmet rather than doing all this for a free one. You know, I love doing this. I love going for rides. I love taking photos. I love seeing my photos come to life when I edit them and I love sharing them with you guys and seeing them be appreciated. Like, that's awesome. And the fact that I'm actually inspiring you to shoot and to do video and whatever, that's, you know, that's, that's heartwarming. I love it. I love it so much. That's literally why I do this. But if you stick to it and you post once a day, your audience will grow organically. Just enjoy the process and have some fun. So let me know if you got these right. No cheating. So out of the helmet section, I've bought myself four helmets. 
That one's Romina's, I bought for her for her birthday. That's one of my very first. That's one of my very first. And that one I bought by mistake. Gloves, I haven't bought any. I haven't bought a pair of gloves in bloody ages. And jackets, the only jacket that I have bought is this one right here. And this was from an op shop when I was in LA a few years ago. I loved it because it has the Maltese cross. The rest, all free. Pants, free. Never bought a pair of pants in my life. Boots, I actually paid for them both. Those two pairs of boots. And I got these ones right here, boop, for free. How'd you go? Did you go good? Did you win? There's no prizes, I'm sorry. Get free stuff, guys. Holy crap, let's do it.